Hello everyone and welcome to another video where we will be looking at using Microsoft Publisher 2010 in order to create this internet safety poster that I have here. Now in the last video what we looked at was watermarking an image by which what we did was we washed out the colour and then we recolored it so that it fitted more into the theme of my poster. So I chose the purple. Um, we've also now applied our borders. You can see that our poster is kind of starting to take a bit of a vague shape. But what we're going to look at this time now is the text. And if we have a look at my text here, I've used some formatting which I've got. Um, obviously I've got some bold text here. I've changed my font style from the standard type. Um, I've center aligned it here. So we can have a look at some of these things now. So if I go into my publication, what I've done is I've copy and pasted the text from the other page and just totally got rid of all of the formatting. Now when you make your own poster, obviously you'll have to come up with your own text, but just for making this in this purpose, you can actually just copy this out. So in which case what you would do is you would obviously insert text box, draw it to the size you want, and then start typing away and formatting. Okie doke. So, I'll just delete that. And what we're going to do now then is I'm going to make sure that this text box is nice and wide and fits inside here. What I'm also going to do then is highlight the text and I'm going to, um, let's go to the home tab here and go into center align the text. What I'm going to do then is I can, I can make it bold if I want. I can make it italicized, underline it, whatever you want to do is up to you, but I'm just going to leave mine bold. Um, so what I'm going to do then is change my font, and the one that I chose here is Berlin Sans FB Demi. You could choose any font that you want in your own example, but because obviously some work better than others, and we've got to make sure that it's easy to read. So this is quite a nice easy to read font, because otherwise the audience won't be able to read the information we've put there. So I'll choose that. And at the moment you can see now that if, because it's a slightly bigger font, I've got these reg markers here, which means that it doesn't quite fit in the text box. So I can drag that down until it fits. That's lovely. What I'm also going to do now, now that I've formatted the text, is I'm going to put some bullet points on it. Now, as most of you know, I'm sure, if I want to put bullet points, make sure I'm on the home tab and on the ribbon, I just go to the bullet points icon. And I click that and I could choose one of these standard options for bullet points. However, I don't want to do that. I want to actually add some custom bullet points. So if I click on the drop down menu here and go to bullets and numbering, if I go to character, I've got a list of things that I can choose from here. And obviously there's more and more choices as you go through here, so I'll let you explore these. But these are my recently used symbols, and they are actually on the symbol um, option here. And I just scroll up, and I'm going to choose that. I'm going to choose that icon, and I'm going to press OK. I'm going to increase the size of it. So the actual bullet point itself is bigger. And I could also, if I wanted, change the indent. Uh, at the moment it's currently a centimeter, so you can see here, now the indent is the distance between the bullet point itself and the text. So I'm actually going to leave that as it is for now, but if I wanted, well I could just to show you, I press OK, I'd decrease that, like so, press OK, and you can see that it's actually a lot closer now. So, I'm just going to highlight this and drop the size down a little bit, because I can go up and down here with these options. And that looks quite good to me now. I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click on that and move it down using the arrow keys. And there we have it. There's my text in the middle of my poster ready to be read.